Well, Jim, I want to get to some cameos in a minute, but first, let me ask you a quick question that was sent in to cornydrivethrough at gmail.com from Remy Rossell in New Brunswick. It's a picture of you at the desk, Monday Night Raw, next to Vince, and you're holding a tennis racket with a Santa Claus case. Yes. And he wanted to know if you still have the Santa Claus racket you once used in the WWF, and what's the story behind it? It is uh, currently hanging on my office wall here at Castle Cornet. And what it was, it, I had it made originally for the Clash of Champions season's beatings. That was the Christmas week of 1988, right? It was the Midnight Express against Ric Flair and Barry Windham. And by, by uh, significant other at the time, her mother was quite a, a seamstress. A uh, talented sewer, and I found a Santa Claus toilet seat cover because <laughs> it was Christmas <laughs> and it was, were Christmas items were out, and got her to turn the Santa Claus toilet seat cover into a Santa Claus tennis racket cover for Seasons Beatings '88. And that's the story behind it. And obviously, uh, it was Christmas again. You know, I've heard this happens every few years. Christmas comes up. And it was a Christmas again in the 90s, and, and there I was with the Santa Claus racket. Did Vince ever ask you anything about your tennis rackets? What, what, what would he ask? I mean, you're next to him, and you have this big Santa Claus tennis racket. I mean, did he ever bring up why the tennis racket? Anything? Well, no, I, I, he knew, I don't think he knew the backstory and I don't think he ever, he never asked me. So apparently he didn't care the backstory of why I carried the tennis racket, but he knew the, the concept of me carrying the tennis racket was cause I'm a rich kid, fucking goofy manager. And think of all the goddamn gimmicks that he had as, as they used to say, you know, the WWF is the land of fruits and nuts and Vince is the head, head cashew, you know, all the gimmicks he had, he had people with dogs and birds and two by fours and whatever I, it you know it, it didn't seem out of place i guess in his mind he knew it was my gimmick to whack the baby face over the head with all right jim well, obviously was every once in a while he would eye roll at some of the more outlandish outfits but uh but once again he, he's the, the the king of the king of outland if it's outlandish he was he was the mayor of outland yeah he has no right to eye roll at anyone else's outfits well, there you go. 